In this video guys, we're going to be doing a complete starter guide on anime stories. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So as you can see right now, we're in the spawn point and you'll be met with either Might Guy or My Guy Jackson here. Basically what Might Guy does is he makes you a hero. So you join the heroes and yeah, Jackson slash Muzang makes you a villain. To be honest, there's not that much of a difference between both of them. I think they both get like the exact same stuff. So yeah, I want to become a hero because it just sounds more cleaner. And then you'll be greeted with Minato, which you press on and you get a free teleportation technique. So so if we go into inventory here we go and press menu in inventory uh, this is basically a technique so even if you go super far away say if i go like all the way over here say for example i go here and i want to go back to the island without restarting my character i can just go uh, i just go on misc and then teleportation mark use Boom, and straight teleported back to Minotaur, which is pretty, pretty cool. And then there's also a cave system here where you can actually mine ores and stuff, which is very, very good. You'll also find Brook here, which gives you 100 gems. So yeah, always interact with the people that have like a purple orb around them because they always give you free stuff. So yeah, when you think when you talk to a rock slash Brook, he'll give you 100 gems. Of course, it's not repeatable. So yeah, I've already redeemed it. But yeah, he gives you 100 gems, which is very, very good and useful because you can actually spin with them and get very, very good moves. Also, there's these ores and stuff that you can collect. I do recommend collecting them, especially because you can actually sell them for coins and some, and some actually some rare ores that you can actually sell for like 25 gems and stuff, which is pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, anytime you see an ore or something, I recommend going to it and mining it because you're not going to lose that much time and you can sell them for coins and stuff, which is very, very, very useful. From this video being recorded, there's two codes in the game. One gives you an hour of two times XP and one gives you 100 gems. So yeah, I'm going to put them both in the description down below. I do recommend using them because then you'll have already basically 200 gems, 100 from Brook and 100 from basically the code and then you'll be able to spin two moves which would be very very good because they're going to be extremely useful they're like it's very very useful to have the moves all right there's also this guy here the blacksmith where you can talk to him and you can actually once you talk to him you can actually craft a lot of things i do recommend crafting the only thing i do recommend crafting is either zabuza cloth when you have it or the monkey one which we do have in our inventory i'll showcase it here which gives you it's a monkey coat it's very very easy to craft you need only need to be level one to craft it and it gives you a pretty pretty good boost if i say so myself so we're just gonna remove it there's also kirito here so when you talk to him he also gives you something and then you can go here to pride and this guy you can actually buy potions for him so for 250 you can buy a health potion when then when you press on it you redeem it also in the left corner there's some that you can actually like pay them a, th a thousand of your coins and they'll change your face so yeah as you can see my face is kind of ugly here so i press here and we've got better face to be fair so yeah there's also these training dummies uh not that much use for them just now just maybe like to test out the new moves that you get that's basically the only use of the training dummies now let's get to the part the most important part leveling up so as you can see right there luffy is right there and that's what he used to talk to from level one to level 10 i'm pretty sure so yeah from level one to level 10 you'll be doing these snake islands they're pretty they're pretty pretty weak so you don't need no techniques for them you just go with, go with them and just punch them punch them punch them until they die so yeah you don't need no techniques so you just go to luffy and press on him you'll have to kill four evil snakes so boom 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 that's one it doesn't take that long and it, I, I leveled up to level 10 pretty pretty fast i'd say so but yeah easy peasy after you get to level 10 you go to talk to krillin slash krilly this guy basically gives you a thingy where you kill four of the banana thieves slash the monkeys so these are the monkeys they're pretty pretty difficult to kill so i do recommend like basically killing one at a time because getting a lot is very very hard unless you get a good move from the 200 gems that you got which which then it'll make it a lot a whole lot different because you can gather them here and then you can use your move boom and then you can basically destroy them annihilate them so yeah if you do have a good move you can use you can gather more or gather them up like boom hit them and then run away hit them run away so there we go hit this guy here too and then hit this guy here and then you jump jump here they won't be able to hit you and then you can just use your move whatever move you get easy and then this guy drops me fur too which is pretty pretty good so yeah you'll be greeted with son goku where you can actually learn the kaifus which is pretty pretty useful so yeah I would learn it, it's for free, you don't need anything, and yeah, so every time you see a purple guy, as I said before, just interact with him, he's gonna give you something for free, so yeah, you might as well interact with him, and also, always do remember, the yellow ones are the repeatable tasks, and the blue ones are the one-time task. so yeah, after you've reached level 15 from hitting the monkeys, you've got a one-time task, where you can talk to this farmer, and he'll tell you to collect the bananas, so with that, you just press on the bananas like this, one, you go to this one here, two, here, and then four, there. And with the one-time tasks, every single one-time task gives you 100 gems and a lot of XP. So yeah, after you get the 100 gems, you might as well go and spin. 
Maybe potentially you can get a good move like Kamehameha. After you've reached level 20 from killing these like monkey thieves, you go right ahead here where you're gonna have to kill some bandits, which they're actually pretty pretty easy. The task is not that difficult. So we go here, we go talk to Bulma to access the task. So from level 20 plus, so you go talk to my guy Bulma. And then with this, you just basically start hit and run technique. So you hit and just run, hit, dash, and then run. You have to be extremely fast with this. Hit and then dash and run. Hit, dash and run. Don't get hit. You have to not get hit. And then you just jump here and then gather them up in one spot. And you're going to have to hit them with a move. So any move that you have, it's even, even if it's sand or any move, you need to have a move by now. So just any move that you have, just hit them with it. Like I can even hit them with this, I think. Yep. Any move, literally any move, just gather them up and then hit them. Or you can have a sword. You can actually get them with a sword. Oh, I think you can actually even do it with your fist, but however, it's like a double-edged sword with a fist. You're going to be getting hit and they're going to get be getting hit, which is pretty, pretty bad. So yeah, you do this task until you're level 30. However, when you are level 25, you can actually talk to Akka slash Shanks. So you can talk to him. So it's a one-time task, of course, because it's a blue one. And then with that, you can actually kill the boss, so the bandit leader. So with that, you just hit them, boom, and then you run away. Okay, you just avoid the change. And then as I said before, just stay here and just hit them. You have to be a bit far away though, because they've got like a better reach. And you just hit them with any of the moves that you have. So you just got to stay away and then just hit them with any of the moves. There we go. And they're destroyed just like that. So yeah, you just hold them here and you just trap them here and you just hit them with any of your moves. Just keep on lo loading up your chakra or slash energy and then you hit them up with your moves. So yeah, which is pretty, pretty good. So yeah, after you've completed the banner task, there's also one more task for you when you're level 25. So it's just Asta here on the Church of Hope. So you just jump here, jump here, jump here, jump here and jump right here and you go to Asta and yep, you can help him. You basically just have to deliver a letter and you get 100 gems plus XP. So yeah, remember every single blue task, you get 100 gems. So yeah, every single time you get 100 gems, you go all the way over there, all the way to the start. You can also teleport with the Minato teleportation mark that he gave you from the start. So you go there and you summon. There's also one more thing which is very, very useful. Their rewards. I actually forgot about them until like when I was like level 30 and 40 and I claimed so many gems. So yeah, these rewards. So every time you like you reach like a milestone level or you do like a, a lot, or like enough damage, you get a hundred gems. So every time you've reached like a milestone of level, so from like if you reach level 20, you reach level 30, you reach level 40, just always check up on your rewards because and out of 10 times you're gonna have a hundred gems, so you can go back there and spin and hope hoping you get an amazing, amazing move that you can use. After you've reached level 30 from just completing this task from 20 plus from Bulma, there's you go to the cop task, which is very, very difficult. So you need to listen very, very carefully because this took me a while to get used to. So yeah, you go and talk to Connie right here. So you press on E, you talk to Connie and defeat the corrupted police officers. With this, this is very, very careful. You have to do a hit and run. So you just go hit, run, hit, run. So yeah, you're gonna hit, you're gonna get shot sometimes, but you're just gonna have to dash and run. And then for the last police officer, you hit him, and then you just jump on top of here, and they won't be able to hit you. This is why it's extremely, extremely important to have a long range move. For me, I have the Kamehameha, which I had from the beginning. I just wait for it to reload. And also, I forgot to say one more thing, and it's called it's the stats. So yeah, every time you every time you level up, you get two points. And for me, this is my points, but they're not the most optimal. If I was you, I wouldn't put any to my strength, to my energy. I'm mostly focused on actually magic and health. Not that much into your speed. So mostly focus on magic and health. So yeah, just prioritize magic because that's like what increases your power of your moves, which is very, very good. But yeah, after you finish with the Kamehameha, when it's finished loading, you just decimate them just like that. I recommend doing this task from level 30 to level 50. Yes, you heard me right. Not from level 30 to level 40, from level 30 to level 50 as the ninja task is extremely, extremely difficult to do because they just like hit you and you can't really trap them or anything. So yeah, I recommend doing this task from level 30 to level 50, that's my recommendation. Also, when you're level 35, you can actually talk to Mikey and he gives you a task to collect like garbage bins. So you just collect this, you collect them, then wait for them to reload again, collect them again, and you get 100 gems plus XP, which is pretty, pretty useful. After you've reached level 50, we need to go to here, which is the Fisherman Island. So we just go here, you can see the One Piece place. We just go here. And there we go. These are called fishmen. So with this technique, you basically also another hit and run. So you just hit them, run, hit them, run. Because they've also got a move that slows you down, but that's completely fine. Hit them, run, and then hit them and then run. And then you just jump over here and then you collect them in one place. And then you just use any of your far range moves. Like you need a far range move to actually like succeed in this game. 
you need a fine range move or a fine range weapon. So yeah, we just wait here. You just you just collect them in one place and you just use your moves on them basically. And then you just wait for your moves to reload and just keep on repeating that. So yeah, this task you do from level 50 to level 70, not from 50 to 60 because the 60, like the level 60 mobs are extremely, extremely difficult to kill, kill and trap. So yeah, from level 50 to level 70, you do the money task. So yeah, or slash the... the the yummy task so yeah from level 50 to level 70 so after you got to level 50 to level 70 you can just reset your character which is also a shock what you can do reset your character and then you can go to here and you can actually get the map so from level 50 to level 70 after that we've got the runes of the city all right guys so after you went to the runes of the city you talk to this guy from dragon ball so yeah you press yes and you get the explosive aliens task and with that you basically have to hit these guys so we can trap them in one place most of this game is basically hit and run so you hit them and then you run you have to be extremely fast with this you're gonna have to tank some hits with it so yeah just hit them hit them hit them so yeah as you can see they're all here and then you climb on top of here this is the best place to place to climb there's no place like there's no point of climbing up here because they despawn and they go back to their place so this is the best place because it's like mostly in the center and then when you gather them with your long range move you just use it basically boom you recharge and then just use your long range move until you kill them so yeah basically that's the technique for these guys and so yeah for these two maps here when you reach level 80 and level 100 there's basically the, basically the exact same technique you get the mobs you hit them and then you find like a, a ledge or something that you can jump on top of and they can't reach you and then you just use your long range weapon which is extremely extremely important so yeah guys now for the miscellaneous stuff sometimes you'll actually find there's like small bags on the floor definitely collect them you can also find small gems on the floor like small pa gem packets so you collect them too so you get 40 gems from those small packets which is very very important there's also an among us guy yes an among us guy somewhere around here but i'm gonna go to him right now i'm gonna show you where he is so we just go on top of here on top of here and that guy gives you 100 gems which is pretty pretty cool so yeah you just jump and jump on top of here it's like a small mini parkour place so you go boom wait for this to reload wait for your double jump to reload there we go and then you just dash and then yep this guy believe it or not you talk to this guy and then this guy gives you 100 gems which is very very good so yeah, anytime you see the, a purple person just definitely talk to them because they'll give you something for free also anytime you see like any of the ores mind them because sometimes they can be very very good sometimes you can get some like blessed ores which are extremely extremely rare and you can sell them for gems or you can use them to like craft amazing 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 weapons so from time to time you'll see like these travelers that are going to spawn in some of them sell stuff to you and some of them you can sell stuff to so the people that you sell stuff to you can actually sell all of your ores and equipment to them i don't recommend doing it unless like you need cash desperately because with the equipment like with like the ores and stuff you can actually craft like very very good stuff so yeah i don't recommend selling them to them but if you're like short in cash and you need it desperately you go ahead but yeah there's also a person that actually spawns which sells stuff to you they sell stuff from like 2k to 15 Okay, so yeah, I don't recommend really buying anything unless like you're a high level and for example See there's literally a jump pick up right here. We're level on 86 and we gained 40 from it And now we actually have enough gems so we can actually I'm gonna do a spin for you guys in the video And so let's see how bad or good my look is so summon Oh, okay. Okay. We've got some ice spikes, which are actually pretty pretty decent I'm pretty sure that's I'm pretty sure that's Tadoroki's move, but yeah pretty pretty decent but yeah guys i think i've covered basically most of the things in this game if you have any other questions about this game make sure to comment that down below i'm also going to link the trailer of the game in the description down below so if you need like any information about certain things i'm going to put that down below and you can find it there or if you have any any questions just comment that down below i'm going to try to aim to reply to them within two to three hours so yeah comment that down below if you found this video helpful make sure to like subscribe and comment hope you have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day guys and peace out